Hi, it's Steve here from Purple Running Wales and I want to talk to you today about how I film my running videos. And the camera I use is this, the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Uh, I bought this at the beginning of the year. Uh, it's a nice compact little camera, uh, picture quality is great um, and it's, it's, it's proved to be very good for, for the running because of its compact size. Uh, and I want to show you how I use this uh, to create my running videos. Now, there are a lot of YouTubers out there who have created videos uh, that show how to uh, make the best of the settings, the best settings to use for this camera. Um, and uh, there are a lot of runners out there who are creating videos um, to show you the, the races that, the, and uh, restraining runs that, that they are doing, all using this, this camera, but they don't show you the setup that they are using with the, with the camera. And I want to show you what I do. So, as I said, this is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So, you can use this just by putting it in your pocket, or if you have a, a running belt, you could pop it in that, or a race vest, you can find a little pocket uh, in the running vest just to pop it out and then you can take it out press the quick capture button and video around you know you can hold it out out there facing you like like that uh, so that you can see your face and you can talk into it or you could hold it out to the side um, and so they get your profile and some of the scenery that's around you maybe crowds cheering in the <laughs> behind you that 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 kind of thing um, if you want to talk whilst you're running, then the microphone on this is okay, but it's not brilliant. Um, and and I'd like to do a bit of spiel before before a run, uh, telling you the viewer what it is I I'm doing in this in this video, uh, and then at the end of it, then I like to have a little bit of a, a post run chat as well about how the run went, etc. etc. Okay. Uh, and using uh, the, the the microphones on this, and there are three uh, built into this camera, mm, it, it's okay, but it could be better. So, ideally, we need to use an external microphone. And this camera has a, a, a port on the side of it where you can plug in an external uh, microphone, and it's the same port that is used for charging the batteries on the camera. So, on the side of it, and uh, I've I've Remove the um, remove the little door that's just hinged across here, and there's a, a an HDMI socket there for plugging it into your TV, for instance, so that you can uh, view on a bigger screen the, the footage that you've taken. Uh, and then you've got the other port here, a USB port for for charging. Um, but you 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 also uh, for plugging in uh, an external microphone. And in order to plug in an external microphone, you need a special adapter, which, surprise, surprise, is only available from GoPro. And that's this. And this thing is nearly as big as the camera itself. Okay? So it's, it's a bit chunky. So, and then that plugs in into there like that. So unless you're gonna tape it to the, to the camera, uh, or strap it to the camera in some way, um, then it's it's not very good. But I came up with a solution. So, from Amazon, I bought this. This is a separate cage uh, for, to fit the camera into from a company called Ulanzi. And this has a special uh, box section here for fitting the, um, the the microphone adapter, so all you do is you you um, push the adapter cable through there through the other side. It can be a little bit fid fiddly, but this time it went in okay. Just push that in all the way, okay, and then your camera just pushes into the back of that. And then there's a, a back plate which slides in just to retain your camera in place so it's not going to 
uh, it's not going to come out. And once it's in there, it's in there firmly. It's a good, good tight fit. And then you can just plug in the uh, the microphone, uh, the the lead into there. Now you've got a couple of options here for for microphones. There are plenty of of uh, external microphones that you can buy. Um, there's a company called Rode, for instance, who, who make all sorts of different types of, of microphones and they uh, are designed to fit onto the top of a camera. Uh, for, a, for instance, on a DSLR camera, uh, it would fit on top of the hot shoe plate. Well, we haven't got a hot shoe here, but we have a cold shoe plate, so we just, it's basically it's just a socket. And then that can fit on, on, on the top there, so you'd have the microphone on the top. But that's a bit bulky, and I didn't want to do that on a run. Um, it was just too big. So, I found this. This is a little omnidirectional shotgun mic from uh, Saramonic. And this is brilliant. Um, there are other microphones uh, uh, that are available as well. It's got, it's got a built-in 3.5mm jack. Okay. Uh, that are other microphones available that are smaller but this one bends so it'll go in 90 degrees in either direction like that okay and then on the uh, microphone adapter there's a 3.5 millimeter jack socket so that just fits in there oh I should say as well that the uh, the microphone uh, is supplied with a, a small foam um, uh, wind protector there. Uh, you, you could buy a, a, a furry one, what they call a dead cat, or in, in this case because it would be so small it should be a dead mouse really I think. Um, and and that, that fits in there and the beauty of this then is that it can, it can be swiveled so uh, you can be interviewing somebody so you're capturing them on the video. You're talking to the to the other person, and you turn have the microphone pointing towards you, and then you can swivel it forward, and have it um, fa facing the the person that you're interviewing. So again, it's it's not too bulky that you you couldn't keep it in uh, a race vest or in a in a, a running belt that kind of thing. But it's a, it is a bit bulkier. So uh, what I've done as well is I've, I mount it then onto a handle and I bought this handle, it's a GoPro handle um, and it's uh, the GoPro floaty so it's got a not orange bit on the end there so uh, if you're taking this in, your camera into the water and you let go of it it'll just bob up and down um, with the orange bit sticking out of the water. Okay but I, I like this handle because it wasn't too narrow, I could get a good grip on it and it has a sponge grip and my hands do tend to get a bit sweaty if I'm, if I'm holding onto this but if it was just a, a, a shiny plastic grip um, then I think it would be much more uncomfortable um, to, to carry. So anyway this uh, cage with the camera just fits onto there like that and then screws screws in to, to hold it in place. And then I can just um, run holding the, the, the camera, which, which I tend to do, uh, hold it about there. Uh, it's, it's quite easily balanced. Um, it isn't too, too heavy. There is a, a strap there as well, which I just clip on uh, over, the, um, over the, the screw fitting there. Just tighten that up and hold the two together and and I haven't found that a problem just to uh, run, run like that on a 10k but I wouldn't want to do that um, for a longer race uh, but I have a cunning plan for that. So if I'm uh, on a, a long uh, training run or if I'm running um, a half marathon trail race for instance uh, then I usually wear my my trusty A and E G uh, running vest. So uh, I have uh, a 600 millimeter bottle there, full of fluids there for me to drink. It has a pocket on the other side here, 
which will take another bottle. But I don't need two uh, bottles. Um, and if I find that I do run out of water, then I can always fill this up at a, at a, a water station. But this other pocket here is just the right size to put the GoPro in. So I can just put it in like that. I can turn it so it's facing more that way. And I have done it so I've been running and I've just reached over and I've pressed the button and I've been videoing it. So I, I just tilt it back a little bit just to make sure that it's, it's level. Um, the microphone can be pointed up towards me so that it'll, it'll capture anything that I'm saying whilst I'm running along. Um, sometimes the, the picture is a little bit skew with, but if you only have show a few seconds of footage then it's not too bad, you can get away with that. Otherwise I can just take it out whilst I'm running, do a bit of, bit of uh, vlogging um, and then pop it back in there and off I go. Really easy, uh, very useful um, and I found that uh, the weight wise it, it balances out the water bottle but even with the if when the water uh, when I've run out of water it hasn't felt like I'm lopsided at all uh, it's been very very easy to use so there we have it this is the setup I use to record my runs using the GoPro Hero 7 Black um, it's very efficient uh, it's very easy to use um, and it's very comfortable even to just to carry it. I've, I've run 10k races and just held it in my hand all, all the way around and even had a PB. <laughs> you know, so uh, um, it, it, it hasn't, I haven't found it to be a problem just holding it in my hand but definitely on the longer runs, longer races, um, popping it into the, the, the running vest uh, has, has been uh, a real boon. Um, you can you can use uh, could use a, a smaller handle. There are plenty of other handles about. I mean, uh, I have one here. I, I, this one cost me just a few pounds on on Amazon. Uh, it also sort of extends out, uh, it's telescopic, uh, and it also has uh, the, the handle forms uh, three legs to use uh, use as a tripod, which is very useful if, for instance, you want to do some time lapse. Uh, for instance, taking it away on holiday or or, or whatever, uh, that that would be very useful for that, and, and that's what I'm uh, I've bought this for because I should be going away on holiday and uh, I uh, maybe be, get a chance to to try out some of the the, the time lapse uh, on the on the GoPro, um, and it might might just be a bit more um, a bit bit easier whilst I'm walking around on holiday to, to, to film things with the, with the smaller handle. But I wouldn't want to run with this um, this handle because it's it's like shiny black plastic and I think my hands would sweat too much and it's not particularly a big uh, handle and uh, it's much narrower di uh, diameter so uh, I think I'm much happier using the the, the other you can see the difference in the size. I mean, it's it's um, uh, there's, a, there's a heck of a difference there. Okay, so that that's my setup. I I, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you are um, a current uh, YouTube creator creating your own uh, running videos, or whether it's this is something that you would like to do yourself, uh, you could maybe uh, look at. Uh, creating uh, a, a similar setup to the, to the one I'm using. Or if you know of a better way than doing it, then please leave a comment below. So, uh, if you have enjoyed this video, you found it useful, then um, please like and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any future videos. So until next time, keep running.